this King in the Bravery Award is different from the ones I have received previously over the years. I have received awards from different institutions of different kinds, acknowledging contribution at a leadership level as well as at an educational level. All of them, in my view, cannot be equated to this award. As this King Yinsa Award talks directly to our experience as Africans. It talks to the contribution of the African leaders during the wars of resistance. Leaders who sacrificed everything for the African people. It talks as well to the greatness of African leaders which was displayed as they responded collectively to the challenge of colonialism in 1912. As you recall, those who came together to respond to the challenges of 1910 of the formation of the South African Union, they came from those who had been fighting fearlessly in defense of our country but others came from the then educated leaders and those who had become religious. Here, South Africa saw these sons and daughters coming together to strategize on the response to colonialist onslaught against the Africans. The onslaught was reflected on land dispossession and deprivation of political rights. In reality, Africans were deprived of all the rights they had had. These are our leaders who traveled from all corners of South Africa to Bloemfontein, Mangaung, to discuss the national challenge that faced the African people. This King Yinsa Bravery Award indeed talks to this experience. 